Hi everyone, my name is Vandechi Van Grover and I'm the CEO and founder of Vandechi's Vault. And today I wanted to talk to you about the history behind Memorial Day. So let's get started. So Pulitzer Prize winner David Blight has tried to raise awareness of freed slaves who decorated soldiers' graves. And according to his book, Race and Reunion, The Civil War in American Memory, he describes a commemoration organized by freed slaves and some white missionaries that took place in May 1st, 1865 in Charleston, South Carolina, at a former planter's racetrack where Confederates held captive Union soldiers during the last years of the war. And at least 257 soldiers died, many of disease, and were buried in unmarked graves. So black residents of Charleston decided to give them a proper burial. So approximately 10 days leading up to the event, roughly two dozen African-American Charlestonians reorganized the graves into rows and built a 10-foot tall white fence around them. An archway overhead spelled out Martyrs of the Race Course in black letters. So about 10,000 people, mostly black residents, participated in the May 1st tribute, according to coverage back then, in the Charleston Daily Courier and the New York Tribune. So starting at 9 a.m., about 3,000 black school children paraded around the racetrack, holding roses and singing the union song, John Brown's Body and were followed by adults representing aid societies for freed black men and women. Black pastors delivered sermons and led attendees in prayer and in the singing of spirituals. James Redpath, the white director of the Freedmen's Education in the region, organized about 30 speeches by union officers, missionaries, and black ministers. So participants sang patriotic songs, and in the afternoon, about three white and black union regiments marched around the graves and staged a drill. The New York Tribune described the tribute as a procession of friends and mourners as South Carolina and the United States have never saw before. For. The grave sites looked like one mass of flowers and the breeze wafted the sweet perfume of them and tears of joy were shed. So this is a tribute that gave birth to an American tradition. And as David Blight wrote in his book, Race and Reunion, the war was over and Memorial Day had been founded by African Americans in a ritual of remembrance and consecration. Now Memorial Day had become a national holiday in 1889 and it took a century before it was moved in 19. 68 to the last Monday of May where it remains today. Now before I go, the fact that the Freed Slaves Memorial Day tribute is not well remembered is very emblematic of the struggle that would follow as African Americans fight to be fully recognized for their contributions to American society continues to this day. So thank you so much for watching this video on the history behind Memorial Day. If you would like to watch any other witchy wellness videos, videos in public health, and black girl magic, please go to my website. It's www.vandachi.com. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you there. Bye. Bye.